What's up, YouTube? God four man two two one here, and welcome back to our part of the Japanese campaign. Fights are on for. Look how big Japan is. At the end of the last part, I did one thing. I realized we were we were done producing our oil refineries, our synthetic refineries. So I've just queued up a bunch of factories in China where they're going to be relatively safe, I think. Hopefully. And these things are really easy to build too. Like it takes a month to build them, so that will help us with our production. Um, one other thing I did was I moved around. I created a new medium tank template, and then I switched over our. I made a new switched over our regular tank template to uh, half medium tank. So that will help us reinforce. And I've also begun. Let's see under production. I started producing a bunch of tanks here. I took off some from C the support infantry equipment. So I did that. Now, it looks like we have more political power, so let's go on to give our tanks extra reliability, and armor research time is going to be faster now. And we do have marines. These guys are ready to invade, so they're going to start that. We did encounter a little bit of resistance down here, but that's okay. A couple U.S. troops here. So I'm basically already fighting the United States. Uh, let's be honest with that. So I said I'd make a new division here. I guess these guys are the oranges. I need to make a new theater. These are going to be called... Not Gemini Theater 2, obviously. I'm just going to call this um, Invasion. So these guys are going to be the uh, basically Invasion Force here. And they're actually low supplies in Japan. Supply status. That's actually interesting how they're low. Okay, we're going to give you guys a commander. And I'm going to send these guys. I think, honestly, the United States is going to join the war any day now. And that scares me. Not because I'm afraid of my own islands, but I'm scared that they're going after embargoing Germany right now. And Germany hasn't been able to take out France. So, I have to wait until 1942. That gives me a year. So, hopefully I can crush the, uh, the British forces before then. Now, we are not winning this currently. So I'm going to just make it so, that, you know, these guys, I want them to leave. So then I can just capture Alexander. I don't mind if these guys take over this peninsula a little bit. Never mind, we need to attack. They are sending a lot of troops. That was a mistake. However, I am cutting off Beirut. So they're going to have no ports to land at here. So I'm going to send these tanks back. It is like a monsoon outside. I hope you guys can't hear that rain that's pouring. Or the British get to Brook. I had I did not have Alexander, but that would have been very helpful. Yeah, it's important. Out. So let's go for do our new battle strikes. We kinda want to do carriers. It's gonna be important to fight the United States with, but army innovations would be good with our armor technology. Now why are we losing? The enemy can't pierce any of our armor. We have countered him. This is actually, actually um, wow, that should you how good their traits are. Cool. Anyway, the British forces should get cut off here. I don't want to go that way, that's fine. They already are cut off, but just to uh, make sure they don't get to Brook. Which they're going to grab, which will give them another port. Okay, here's the problem. They don't need to be... Uh, I want all our divisions right here, to be honest. This is like the biggest thing. I will keep this division over here though, and these guys, because I want I want to help. I want to help take out these divisions over here. Yeah, I need a new keyboard's glitching out a little bit. I'm gonna have to buy a new one of these. I just bought a new headset, actually. I bought the same headset I had last that I've been recording with for years. It's, it's nice. It's uh, it's like 70 bucks or something. Like It's not really too high-end, which is great. Now we're attacking into a mountain, which isn't exactly smart, but I will at least cut off these units. You know, if someone actually count how many times I had said cut off, that would be hilarious, because it's probably a ton. Okay, how are our Marines doing down here? Marines have captured this. should definitely give them like, a commander to help. Okay, Marines, where's our next invasion going to be? 
I'm gonna go invade right here, and then we're gonna. I don't wanna invade South Africa necessarily because there's forces down there, but I will invade the more just. Yeah, I got more islands to invade. Anyway, we have a sandstorm, so we're not gonna attack. Okay, how are we doing here, though? Good. Yeah, the British have no no supply over here, so they're, they're in trouble. So we can only really attack Alexandria from right here. Can they pierce our armor? They cannot pierce our armor. Because if we attack here... No, we're actually going to win if we attack from here. Don't worry, I'll get these units over here quickly. Okay, how are these guys doing over here? So yeah, I definitely think we're going to invade right here when the U.S. does join the war, which I think they'll do shortly. Oh, they're already losing divisions, though, so that, that's good for me. I'm going to get these guys across and just, once again, do another battle line here. Because we're, we're starting to take the uh, the rubber away from the Dutch, so that's very important. Now, I could switch over to Mechanize. I'm not going to do that just yet. I do want to get the anti-tank. Um, but one thing I need to research is I need to get the maintenance coming. This is for my tanks that improves reliability. Now, I'm really wondering what... Okay, yeah, this battle plan is nothing, obviously. Yeah, so we'll just sweep in and kill those units now. If we can just... I think I will be able to actually get this six divisions. They really have no supply, and if they get overrun... I mean, they have some supplies here, but there's just the sheer numbers. They couldn't they couldn't deal with it. Okay, my army did an excellent job here, and I'm, I'm surprised this guy is not gone. Like, Mountaineer, 61%. Anything with... How is he not a panzer leader? All you're leading are tanks. Okay. So they want to let these guys... I may just honestly just garrison. Like here. For right now. The British don't have any ports. They can't land any troops there. Cyprus would be nice to take. I mean, really what right now... I'm just... We're, we need so many tanks. Okay, our light tanks are filled. I'm going to start making a second line of medium tanks. And I'm going to switch these all over. with all the new factories I'm building. So yeah, these guys are just really, they're working on getting their efficiency at which they're getting 1% a week or so. Steel, I definitely need to get more from the Germans. None from the US because we're gonna be, I'll say it might be good too, that might be quicker. Okay, like I said, I would draw a little line all the way over here. And my troops will hopefully just march down this way. Yeah, so we knocked out the, uh, the Dutch fleet here. Still wondering which battle plan this is that it says it has no orders. Okay, these guys can move, so we're gonna do it. Hey, you're defending territory. Yeah, you're all. Why your troops are along here? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sure someone will point out to me in the comments. Okay, naval results. Oh, that hurt. Okay, how do we lose five destroyers and they not? They only lost one, like, like seven on a hundred and three. Whatever. Yeah, we're going to be, we just need to, I'm also going to, the problem is I'm researching another tank too, in 28 days, the Type 91. So I'll be using, I'll be getting even more of those. 
Okay, we sunk their... Yeah, well, they only have three subs left. They're not going to stand a chance. Bro, we just got our encryption up. Okay, atomic research. What else do I want to do? It's 1941. A year ahead of time. Right, let's look at our industry. Let's go on to... Yeah, let's just make it like 100% efficient for our units. Because right now we're at 80% efficiency as our max. I'm going to put five on that one. I'm going to phase out all my tanks anyway, my light tanks. And you can bet these Marines are going to land there next. Now, I think I have another. If I have another, whoa, yeah, mad attrition over here. I want these guys to join our, I don't really think we need Mountaineers right now. So they can join our home defense. Okay, political advisor, monthly opinion, 15%, or chief of the Navy. Yeah, honestly, none of these are actually very good, so let's go with this guy. Armor innovation will help us for our next armor. Okay, let's go advanced weapons. This will help us with submarine, naval doctrine, it just helps all around. And I'm going to run out of things to do. We're still getting a ton of political power, and I'm raising it in. Yeah, minus 25, so I'm Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Brazil. Okay, someone else we can research. Let's go to our. Our naval doctrine. Submarine operations. That would be good. We do have a lot of subs. Check out our land doctrine here first, so we actually have the bonuses. Half off, yep. Armored operations. That's gonna get a priority. Okay, these guys seem to have recovered. What are they really looking for? Motorized, medium tank, and infantry. Okay, so that's not too bad. So I want these guys to just, no, I did the line a little, it's a little messed up there. I want to go down this route here. Oh. Okay, it says the British are going to invade over there. I don't really believe that. Mainly because they, you know what, they have a port there. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna attack these these areas here. These guys can go into the Gulf, and then when ready, please go. 28 days. Because oh yeah, I gotta I have to worry about these islands here. The U.S. is landing troops. These are just volunteers once again, because the U.S. has given literally to everybody I'm at war with. I don't know why they left the port over here. There's like a city. Yeah, these guys swing around so they're not attacking across the river. We have our new tank. Half off the next one. 210 days for this great medium tank, 1943. I don't know if it's worth it just yet. Anti-tank might be good for our infantry. We're not really dealing with tanks, though. Okay, let's work on weapons three, support weapons three. And why are we losing this fight currently? Terrain, it's a city. Okay, we're gonna have you just stop here. I want you to be there. Let's regain our organization, guys, and our strength, and then we'll push in there. Wow, it is kind of it's a little glitchy with all this stuff here. So yes, I had my eight marines or six marines. It doesn't really matter how many. Look at all these mech. Oh, these guys are still suffering attrition. Let me get these guys to Nagasaki, and I'm gonna bring them over. See, the problem, <laughs> the problem is, I just have my troops all over the place. I may just organize these guys off camera at some point. But really, we're just, you know, it's its just the Marines that are going to really be fighting here. So we've captured, I mean, there's a lot of skinny islands that we're capturing right now. Borneo obviously isn't skinny, but we'll just push in from the south here. Yeah, 
it might be worth even getting just having these guys actually just invade Australia and then have the, those eight marines there help out. So these guys are going to go when ready. And how are we doing over here? I don't think I activated the battle plan. So now we'll, we'll basically just cut off what's ever there. And the British can no longer, they have to sail all the way around Africa, which I don't think they even have. It'll be hard for them to actually do that. It's kind of sad they the Germans have not been able to take Brussels. Like, it's it's probably because of all they just they even took part of the Maginot Line, but it was a, it was really a mistake for them to attack Australia. Come on, Australia, Switzerland. That was a massive mistake. But I'm taking out their colonial possessions. They're cut off of rubber, so they shouldn't be making like eight thousand planes like they usually do. He's now invading that island. Good, the Marines have taken this over. I'm going to plan an invasion of Australia. Now, Australia is a massive country, so we want to land as close as we can to their capital. So I'll land at... They have to really go all... Why can't they just go around this way? So I need to control more naval zones. I need to control three naval zones. Okay, main battle fleet. You're getting some new orders. Oh, can you not? Okay, I'm going to change my invasion route then. I know Australia is a big country, but I don't think they have a lot of troops there. Let's invade down here. 28 days. We need the sea here. We'll soon be controlling that, though, with our navy. Our main battle fleet is moving down. I'm going to have these guys just capture this. Not the most efficient way to do this with one unit. But that will work. I'm kind of curious. So United Kingdom, Germany's lost 2 million men already. I mean, if I take out... I keep taking out their territory over here. Italy's now not doing so well. Germany has all these troops down here. Yeah, you gotta go after the source, honestly. You can't just sit in a stalemate here. They're gonna have to, uh, you know, Africa's a sideshow, honestly, in this game. You need to really push after their home territory. But the AI won't do that. I don't really see them do naval invasions. So these guys are going to go over here also. And then these guys are here. These guys are hanging out. Cool. And these guys want a 12 days. So we do control the seas here. Because if, you know, if I can get the Commonwealth surrender, that will really hurt the British, which is important. I have all these units just hanging out here. Okay, we have the Orange Army here. Has Marines with it. This is the army that took over. Put these guys here. This is the army that, that took over Siam. Okay. I want you guys to go here. And yeah, let's let's invade here. Get the the kingdom, United Kingdom's port there. So this guy's ready. He's moving. Oh well, he can't because that's Australia. I mean, that's uh, the Philippines. They're not at war just yet. These guys are still prepping. I wish it was a little faster. Can we have free military factories, actually? These guys finished up quite nicely. And I need to trade for resources again. So I'll move these guys up. And that's going to require a ton of resources. Okay, I need all the steel, which, which I'm taking from the Germans here. Surplus or anything else? A lot of oil surplus here. I'm trying to keep it, yeah, tons. See, we have rubber and chromium and everything, so that's that's great. 
good. Now, it seems like all my tanks decided to, to maneuver down here. Definitely gonna need. They may honestly just start pushing back against. Well, I don't. I don't know where to really where to put these guys. Maybe just. I mean, what's the ultimate goal in Africa, really? Yeah, I wonder if the Italians need them down here. They haven't lost any territory, but they're not really gaining in territory. They don't have the breakthrough punch they need. Maybe I should send my tanks to. Uh, this island right here, Corsica, and then uh, go to Montpellier. Pellier, right here. And try to outflank maybe. Well, there's not a port there. Yeah, I don't really know. Okay, let's go to Imperial Glory. You know what I could do? I could make France have a civil war. It'd be, take a while to do that, but I'm getting so much political power anyway. Might as well, right? Okay, these guys. They're ready. This guy's ready. You're ready. South China Sea. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, other guy. So this is what the Allies actually did fear during World War II, that Australia maybe would get invaded by the Japanese, which it did not. Now we're going to walk our way along the coast here, all the way to their capital there. And to this port. We really need that port first. Who has low base supplies? Oh, here. Okay, you guys are going to be over here now. And yeah, Kyushu is fine. Okay, these Marines... Need to go to Hiroshima. I'll put these guys in their own army. Probably break up into a couple ones. Okay, these guys land yet? There you go. Okay, we have a port, which means we have supplies. Now, let's go all the way to this port here. And go. So, yeah, we'll start going along southern Australia's coast here and get to their capital. So, that plans away. These guys, I still need, I don't have the South China Sea apparently. About to pull all my ships over here because we're operating there. That's okay for now. Less supply consumption, please. Okay, now it's time about what to do with this army. I think it's important to actually go along the front here and just start pushing into Central Africa. Just to push these guys out now. Looks like there's two Siam forces here. So this invasion might actually... Looks like it will probably fail. Mainly due to attacking in the terrain here. And what sucks is there's no... That's the only place there's a port. So that is a problem. See, so yeah, my Marines are going to take a while to walk across the... Uh, the outback in the middle here, but that's okay. Okay, Compassion is the last guy we're going to get, and then we're, we have a full cabinet here. I could switch over. I'll probably have to switch over my conscription laws also. And then I can stop training Marines. I'll let the... Uh, I'll just stop. So we'll stop training the Marines. I'm going to stop with the mountain troops also, and I'm going to continue with the tanks. So that should probably... Oh, we need to construct more military factories also. I mean, while they're here, right? Now, China has... I need to... Yeah. China has no resistance currently to me. Because we already won that war. It was a, it was a small war. So there's going to be no real... They're not going to be damaging stuff like in the other places we're at. Yeah, so five Marines are gone here. 
That is quite unfortunate, actually, that we're not going to be able to take this. What I really need to do is maybe send some marines ashore here and then plan another invasion. Okay, how are we feeling? Still getting units in a position. Including you guys who need to join that. Oh, hello, the Australians are here. I need to send... You know all those marines I have? Like the 16? Where are they? There's Japan here. And the 20. That are dying of low supplies. I'm going to send them over here. And I know it's going to give us a lot of troops here, and we'll definitely be able to, to do some work. These aren't, these are just hills. Good. And Australia should hopefully, yeah, they only have 11 troops here in the whole war. I'll tell these guys to go around and cut these units off. If we can. Yeah, okay, that's province there. So invasions are going not so well. Here we failed. Lost a couple marines. Their commander's gone now. He maybe we'll say he died in the attack. Now I know I'm gonna land my troops here. And then I'm gonna attack the port from the mountain, because I think my eight divisions can overwhelm these two divisions. I hope. Okay, we need to add this to our groups here. Let's get Logistics 3. Less supplies is always a good thing to demand. And I need to add that maintenance coming to both my tank battalions. Improves reliability. That's what's important. Speaking of, I've been making the wrong tanks the whole time. So we're gonna need to switch over our companies. I keep forgetting where like I don't forget where Japan is, but Okay. So it's almost nineteen forty two, so it might be better to get anti tank. That would be good for infantry, which gives them extra heart attack against tanks. So this army here is in position and ready to go. So we're going to start pushing in against British forces. They're, they're pretty low supply and uh, because of all the attrition they're taking out here. Very bad supply in Africa. So we've cut off some forces, including two uh, forces down here. I'm hoping that my men... Oh yeah, they're, they're right here. This will definitely uh, help to add them. But that will give this guy 28 or so. I'm just going to let them suffer there. Imperial Glory, we can now get... Oh, you know what that was? That was a cool little plane. It was the. Uh, it was actually like a... It's like a kamikaze airplane. Okay, now we're running out of stuff to do. So we're probably going to go on to air innovation. And that will help with our planes. So I'm hoping that... Does attacking here do anything? No. Okay, we'll let them starve. Just finish our industry. Let's go on to industry four, which goes to even more industries in our state. It'll allow us to build even more factories. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this part. I'll see you in the next one where we continue our push into Australia. Gotta make sure I don't let these guys get out of here. Continue our push in Australia with our reinforcements that are landing right now. So, I'll see you then. Copper my T2 and sign off.